my drawers? Did you see what's actually happening? This stuff here was cut out of wood and turned into the magic you guys are about to see. <laughs> the dust is <laughs> everywhere. We are making square holes. Square holes, folks. Square holes, and this is the magic beast that makes the square holes. Yep. Square. Square. Is it still a hole if it's square? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I hear you boys are pretty excited when you got this. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is like the best tool ever. I even wear the logo on the shirt, Fest yeah. Tool. If you guys out there buying tools, save up your pennies and buy the best. Festool is one of the best tools out there and I'm not being sponsored at all. <laughs> I've had so many tools. Actually, I want to show you something. Come on over here. This saw uh, here, I bought back in 1995. This is my first Festool. So proud of it. You know, all the guys out there that love Festool, they're going to be like, oh my God, what'd you do with it? Well, I used it, you know? Got some good handy dandy electrical work there. But you know what? after 20 something years it still fires up still cut straight what else can you ask for not a sponsored plug but festool if you want to throw this guy some money for that plug do it <laughs> <laughs> because that was one heck of an advertisement <laughs> what are you doing doing our layouts for some square holes i'm confused on the square holes proof will be in the video yeah and not only that, when you're driving along those back roads and you're bouncing around and everything in the round, in the back is just going everywhere, this top will stay on. The same. Can we redo that bouncing around part? <laughs> <laughs> that was gold. The whole time I'm, I'm just the whole time I'm trying not to laugh. I'm like, don't laugh, don't laugh. Just just let him finish talking. <laughs> so we've got these little square pegs. You know about a square peg trying to in, fit into a square hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these puppies in here like this all the way along. And we're gonna put a, a hole in here and a hole into the other piece. So these pieces can go all the way along. We'll sink it down in, it'll all line up beautifully. And then we'll glue it without nails and it'll be good. Okay, so the boys called doing this dominoes. Now I know why. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, like a little kid. Yeah. That was a whole lot of work for like a millisecond of excitement. Dominoes. Extremely annoying to do. There's so much stuff going on here. I don't know what side to film. He's making epoxy for the inside of the Widow's Unite logo. And this guy's making rectangled holes. Once again, I think that's all we need. Our Canadian style in the Tim Hortons cup. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a Sean Mendez one too. Oh, it gets better. Got a little bit of black mixing up there. Oh yeah, look at that. Feel nervous? No, I can do it. I got my glasses on. I'm gonna stay back. I'm good. As soon as you open up the door, you're just gonna see weirdos unite. Unbelievable. I wonder how many times I've said unbelievable in this video. <laughs> it's one of those things though, like you, when you're making a video and you start talking, you're like, how many times did I say unbelievable? Do I have to now go through and cut out like half of the unbelievables? Cause I can do that in the edit. I go through and I'm like, oh, I'll cut out that word. That's gotta go. So yeah. if you ever see videos jump and then jump and then jump, that's cause I'm cutting out things I'm saying. Cause sometimes I say things 
Yeah. Repeat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Guys, so awesome. Whoa. This is the first time in the life of both of these batteries that they have actually been plugged into a wall. These things have always been charged either by the solar panel or by my van. Because I very seldom have access to power. Oh, wait a minute. Probably should have did this before. Hey Andy, Come on. can I borrow your wall power to charge a jackery battery? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Did you see it there earlier? Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right, now we need this one because I've been using these batteries for all of my filming stuff. They come in handy if I'm ever over at a different location and I need some power. So now that I'm here and I'm going to be running a time lapse of everything while these boys are finishing stuff up. You know, you need to keep your phone powered because the last thing you want during a time lapse of somebody dead is to have it, well, die. So I need the cable. I know you guys hear me plug Jackery a few times a month on my channel, but I'm a very big fan of the company, not only the product, but the company itself. They've done so much for us and so much for the channel, including helping us bring little crews home. Well, Jackery emailed me this week and they want to help out those who are suffering without power who, hit, who were hit with the wrath of Hurricane Dorian. So on September 19th on Amazon.com, the Explorer 240 is on 25% off. And if you purchase a battery that day on September 19th, um, $10 from every purchase on every single battery is going to be uh, put forth to supplying the Explorer 500 batteries and the 100 watt solar panels to families and those who are suffering without power from Hurricane Dorian. I love this thing. <laughs> I seriously, seriously love this thing. I love dominating. <laughs> and we open up. Look at that! Wow. Good luck getting your little DJ booth in there. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, uh, maybe even put a little pull, oh. pull tab. Let's try. I think we're good. Yeah, Watch. We Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pumped about that. What should we... Uh, you know how many times I'm like, hey guys, can I give you a hand? Nope. Hey, is there something I can do? Nope. You wanna know why? Because I think somebody here watches all my videos and has seen me turn a screwdriver before and he's like, nope, you don't touch anything in my shop. <laughs> Nothing I can do? Yeah, there is something you can do. What's that? You can grab me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do. <laughs> this is totally staged. Please. <laughs> and it's this! Woo! <laughs> this door. Hey, look at that! It doesn't come out!
Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I, I need a hand. I'm too weak at this point. Let's get this cabinet in that. Is that the hand you wanted? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chrome, stop being a jerk. All right, hold on. See, being a YouTuber, we got to prop the shots up. It's okay. I'll kick it up away, boy. All right. All right, we're good. <laughs> it's the red Converse that do it. <laughs> that are now pink. <laughs> yeah. See guys, normally if it was me, I'd be changing the camera angles so you could see what I'm oh. doing. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hi, Crazy. Hey, Cruz. Nice to see you awake, Thanks buddy. For coming out. Hey, and buddy. The cabinet goes in. Ta da! <laughs> what is that, buddy? We got what a new cabinet, Cruz? bro. We got new, new furniture. Hey. So, I don't know if you remember a little while ago, I had a bit of a propane leak in my van. Well, now that we've removed everything and took the propane hoses off, a bunch of things started to break off inside of my fitting. So I'm actually just gonna buy myself a new stove top. And I've been looking around at like Mountain Equipment Co-op, um, Cabela's, and also on Amazon and stuff too, trying to find something that's like a little bit more rugged than the $30 <laughs> one that I bought. Um, it's did me well, but it's been in my van for pretty close to two years now done me well so i'm excited to bolt something brand new on top of my brand new cabinets whoa what do you got whoa what's happening <laughs> more more cabinets get out of the way chrome fit like that i am make some trim to go up here so that will fit half inch piece so awesome and even i think that's actually farther back than my other cabinet too which makes it so about an inch and a half is it yeah. nice yeah you get an inch and a half more so we can put your boxes in here yeah because with my old cabinets that were in there guys i had a hard time getting my storage bins out so he you know he spent some time i watched him he was shaving that corner away just to make sure it fit right around that wheel well just perfectly so awesome. Sometimes the cabinets need to be cut to fit. <laughs> Square box, round truck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> securing this cabinet to the wall is definitely a lot easier than securing the home furnishing ones because this one is farther back against the wall. As you can tell, you remember my last one had that huge gap? Well, this one here goes back a lot farther, giving me huge deep drawers on the top section here which is awesome and uh this has been l bracketed to the rib on the wall this is the same rib that i have my wall units attached to so i know they're rock solid and right now he's building a bracket on the bottom to bracket this to the very back of the van down there against the wall which is way more secure than my cabinets were done before As soon as you get in, it just totally changed what it looked like outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nuts. You think it's dry? It's dry? You think so? I think I should install it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish painting the back and away we go. <laughs> That's insane. If it hurts, my blame, you know what that is. It's been a super long day. These guys have been grinding at it since 8.30 this morning. It's 9.30 p.m. 9.30 at night, just about 9.35. 13 hours on this one today. Doing the fronts of the cabinets have been the most time consuming, but watching that CNC machine do the cutting was wild. <sighs> Guys, this is, that's my house. 
Um, super excited to see all of this stuff come together. I'm uh, feeling very thankful right now and kind of like honored that I have such amazing subscribers in front of me that offer up their shop to do stuff like this. You guys are all awesome. Feeling having a moment right now. Picking up the pieces on a summer night, I didn't know. 